Hello, my name is Rivana Rocha. I'm a junior professor of remote sensing at the University of Bonn and the work I want to present is a joint work with my ISPRS working group partners, Miki Levoipi, Clément Mallet and Jan Dirk Wegner and my PhD student Lukas Dres and I want to talk about SEMCITY Toulouse, which is a benchmark for building instant segmentation in satellite images. So SEM City Toulouse uh, comprises a satellite image, a high resolution satellite image, a semantic segmentation mask and a building instant segmentation mask. And within the next minutes, I want to show you how, uh, how we annotated and what we annotated and yeah, give you just a bit more details about the benchmark. So the motivation behind uh, is that we all know that benchmarking uh, of state-of-the-art method is an important part of research. Uh, but mostly we do not have uh, enough labeled data uh, and we need the data to train our models and also to evaluate our classifiers and to, com to compare to other methods. And uh, because uh, we need more benchmarks and more labeled data, we uh, propose uh, this benchmark in the ISPAS uh, scientific initi initiative call in 2017 and we got the funding and this is now the result of it. So what we have in our benchmark is a satellite image. It's a Worldview 2 satellite image from April 2011. It covers an area of 50 square kilometer. Uh, of the greater city center of Toulouse and it covers um, uh, the river, the old town, residential area, but also industrial area. So it's quite, uh, quite diverse. And the image is auto rectified and has uh, eight bands and a resolution of 16 bit. And we have a ground sample distance of 50 centimeter in the panchromatic band and two meter ground sample distance in all the other bands. And we provide the original data, but also pan sharp um, data. And in the pan sharp image, we have about um, 200, uh, million, 200 million pixels, which is something you can work with and we did some tiling that means we subdivided the whole area into 16 tiles and each of the tile has um, a size of about uh, 3500 times 3500 pixels and for all the tiles we provide um, a semantic segmentation set and for four of the tiles we provide a building instance segmentation set in this building instance segmentation set, um, you can see dark and light gray areas. This indicates the training in the test set, which uh, we use for our baseline approach. And we uh, recommend to use this, uh, the same areas to be uh, comparable to, uh, yeah, to our baseline approach results. And um, so for now, uh, we already released tie three, seven, four and eight. Uh, this data can be downloaded and the other tiles are planned to be released uh, at the end of the year. So for the semantic segmentation, we decided to use seven classes and one additional void class. We used the voice, void class because sometimes we were not quite sure what is in this, in this specific area or we were quite sure that it doesn't belong to one of the seven classes. And what you can see from the statistics is that most of the area is covered by impervious surface, building, pervious surface and high vegetation. Um, for the building instance segmentation, um, we used as basic uh, the buildings we annotated in the, in, in the semantic segmentation, but then we annotated in more detail. Um, so for the building instant segmentation mass, we annotated each single building uh, which belongs to one street address. That means um, instance can also be connected. Uh, at the moment we have about 10,000 uh, building instances in the benchmark and they cover all residential buildings, uh, shops, offices, 
um, department stores, industrial halls and uh, so on. So also a, a, a huge variety of buildings we annotated. Um, so wh why is our benchmark now special and why is it different from, uh, from uh, other benchmarks? First of all, our benchmark is multispectral. That means uh, many benchmarks just use RGB images. Uh, we not, we use multispectral satellite images. And our benchmark contains contours of single buildings rather than building blocks or building footprints, uh, where each street address is one building. Um, and we, when we did a comparison uh, to other benchmarks, we realized our benchmark is more accurate than existing building instance segmentation. And I want to show you one example. And this is the Deep Globe uh, benchmark from CPR 2018. And they provide a lot of buildings, but they provide building footprints. And depending on the height of the buildings and the viewing angle, the annotation can deviate a lot from the actual building in the image. So we did it uh, differently. And here are some examples. Um, so our annotated buildings are uh, marked in blue. And you see that we annotated a huge variety of different, uh, of different buildings. And um, you, uh, you can also see that we have some uh, red marked uh, objects. And for the red marked objects, um, we decide to exclude them for, the, uh, for evaluation because we were quite not sure if, um, if it's a building or we were not sure uh, how the building will look like exactly. This happens, for example, when one annotator uh, marked it as a building and the another annotator cross-checked it and uh, was sure it's not a building, so we just excluded it. Um, we also trained a baseline classifier for instance segmentation and all the details about the training process and hyperparameters can be found in our paper. Um, all I want to say is we trained in MASK RCNN and we use some standard data augmentation, for example, uh, image flipping. And we use a pre-trained pre network with the COCO instance segmentation. Um, for evaluation, we use recall, precision and F1 score with specific thresholds indicated with the number after the add sign. And as global metrics, we used um, the average precision uh, AP, the average recall AR and the average F1 score, uh, which is just the, the average over uh, several thresholds. And when you look at the numbers, you can see that they are not so high, but they are quite okay for um, yeah, a simple baseline framework. And we, our intention with this was to provide a starting point for comparison. And we are quite curious how our other most sophisticated frameworks will perform on it. Um, so to conclude, SimCity is a multispectral benchmark with comparatively accurate annotations. We provide semantic segmentation uh, mask and a building instance segmentation mask for the for the um, yeah for uh, for the uh, for the image. And uh, with our setup, we encourage the development of approaches which use transfer learning, for example, from another benchmark to our benchmark, multitask approaches. For example, you can combine um, the semantic segmentation and the building instance segmentation with, um, by using different tasks. And also we want to encourage approaches which use labeled and unlabeled data or ancillary data such as OpenStreetMap. So uh, yeah, this is the website with the data. And I want to thank um, my working group partners, um, Jan Dirk Bigner, Michele Wolpi and Clément Malé. And also I want to thank ISPRS for funding this scientific initiative and also the students assistants and colleagues who did a great job uh, in helping with the uh, with the annotation and uh, the website and the the whole the whole framework. Thank you very much for your attention, uh, and uh, I hope you 
um, yeah, we use the benchmark and can provide some comparative results soon.